Today, Republican lawmakers returned to the Oregon State Capitol after a two-week walkout, saying that this was so they could pass some budget bills before the end of the legislative session, which was originally slated for today. But back on Thursday, Democratic leaders abruptly ended the term to start planning a special session. Our Elizabeth Din joins us now live in studio with what exactly could come next. Yeah, and we've already seen quite a few developments in just the last few days in all of this, Bonnie. And we just saw another legislative session that had a another stalemate between Democrats and Republicans in Salem. Originally, GOP lawmakers walked out for the second year in a row to boycott a controversial cap and trade bill. Democrats say the bill is important to address the climate change crisis. But Republicans say the bill would hurt the logging and farming industries. Earlier today, we spoke with some people who came to support the Republican lawmakers, as well as those who opposed their walkout. I think uh, it's wrong. It's the wrong way to run government. They're elected officials and they're not they're simply not doing their jobs. It's extremely immature and it's it shouldn't be allowed. Yeah, they were trying to protect us rural rural Oregonians. You know, we own a business. Uh, the people behind me here own businesses. They farm. You know, it's a long term effect. After Democratic leaders abruptly ended the session on Thursday, Senate Minority Leader Herman Barrett Sugar Jr. said in a statement he and his Republican colleagues were ready to work today, but, quote, the focus all along should have been on the budget bills, not cap and trade. It amazes me how the Democrats do not take any responsibility for the failure of the session. Let's get back to the purpose of the short session. Again, Republicans return to Salem today, but the regular session is over. Meanwhile, House Speaker Tina Kotek says tomorrow she and Senate President Peter Courtney will have a meeting of what's called the Legislative Emergency Board. Kotek says they will approve an emergency funding package for the state's coronavirus response and flood disaster relief for Northeast Oregon. Well, Governor Kate Brown has said she is open to calling a special session. If she does, this would be the second special session in a row for lawmakers. Live in studio tonight, Elizabeth Din, Fox 12, Oregon. Elizabeth, thank you.